Hello, operator. Hello. Oh, God, that's right. You have to punch in the numbers nowadays. Oh, I should know this. Oh, yes. 8675309. That's it. Oh, no, wait, that's not it. Damn you, Tommy Two Tone! You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Here on Frank Callmation, we'll call landlords and customers, causing massive aggravation. Why's not a hobo? He is your host. He drinks for loco with his jelly and toast. Sit back, enjoy, let the antics begin. The LA for the win. Hey, everybody, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. Today is May 13th. 2017 and today's episode is sponsored by rob zombie stark thank you rob zombie stark for being a supporter of the show and allowing friday's live show to be delayed by an entire day and it happened on saturday morning instead it's all rob zombie stark's fault it's totally not my fault at all but yeah today's show is a live show it happened earlier today early this morning much earlier than the friday shows normally happen And that's what I'm going to play next. I don't really have any announcements for today's show. So I'm just going to say that you should all be supporting the Snowplow Show by going to patreon.com slash phone losers or phone losers.com slash cactus. Five dollars a month gets you extra shows every week. The most recent episode, uh, I called a bunch of people um, at convenience stores and stuff. You know, employees told them I was with the corporate office and told them to stop looking at me through the security cameras, giving me those snake eyes through the cameras. And there was some pretty funny responses to that. You're missing out on that if you're not paying the $5 a month and supporting the show. By the way, if you wish you could catch a live show and you never seem to be able to, then what the hell's wrong with you? Why don't you know how to set up Twitter? Because I announce most of the live shows on Twitter, and all you have to do is install Twitter on your phone or whatever and set up notifications just for me. You don't want every little tweet notifying your phone, I mean, unless you do. But no, what you should really do is set it up so it only alerts you when the phone loser's tweets. And that way you'll know when shows are about to happen. So while you're listening to today's show, do some Googling. Learn how to do that. Set up your Twitter so you get notified for live shows. And that way you won't have to complain to me all the time that you never get the live shows. So get to work on that. Live shows, twitter.com, slash phone losers. Set it all up. I have a list here from uh, Jasper Flax. Uh, He sent this last summer. I called up most of the... Well, not most. I, I don't know. He sent me like four directories. I don't know what they are. Uh, One was... I think this might be some sort of a religious directory. But we're not going to do religious pranks. We're just going to do pranks on uh, homeowners because these all have home addresses on them. They have multiple phone numbers. Uh, He suggested that these would be good for um, uh, roofing calls because it has their cell phone and work numbers on it. I can call them at work. Say, hey, I took off your roof. But um, I probably won't do that on this show because it's Saturday. They're going to be home. They won't be at work. I mean, unless, unless, you know, unless it just works out and I'm able to do a Royco roofing call. I just thought I'd start out with uh, telling people that, uh, you know, you know, true, true green did awful things to your lawn. You've reached the phone of the Hewitts. They're gone. But don't think you blew it. Just tell them hi and let them know why. They'll call you back when they get to it. Whoa. All right. <laughs> that was an answering machine message. That was pretty creative, John. Good job on that. But you're a barrel of laughs to hang around with. Hello. Hi, Mrs. Hughes. Yes. Hey, this is Dave from True Green, and um, I just wanted to let you know, like, I was driving by your house earlier. Uh huh. And I just noticed that your your yard looks really shitty, and I was wondering if you could use our services. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe make your yard not look so shitty. You're saying my yard looks shitty? Yeah, and and we offer services. We offer d- hey, de- don't say that about my yard. Well, no, it's true, ma'am. It's just a, uh, just a, uh, ma'am, are you there? Ma'am, ma'am, hello. Um, yeah, it missed a, a bad connection or something. You know these internet lines. Let me give her a call back. 
What? Hey, why'd you hang up on me for me? I'm I'm just trying to do a business. Because you call, call my yard shitty. It is shitty. And I don't appreciate anybody calling my yard mm. shitty. Ma'am, I'm offering to make your yard not shitty. I don't want I, anybody that would call me and tell me that my yard is shitty. I, I don't want to do business with. But no, ma'am, this is what I do for a living. If, if you're ashamed of your shitty yard, then you should let me help you out. Your yard looks like a hobo designed it. Ma'am? She has a very soft hang-up. I never hear her hang up. Yeah, 10% off. I should have done that. Hey, look at that. Somebody answered. Wasn't that crazy, guys? <laughs> The weirdest thing. People answer in the phone. Well, that was fun. Maybe I should just do that all day. Tell people their yards look shitty. Welcome to Verizon Shit. Wireless. The number you dialed. Damn it, Jasper Flax. These numbers you sent me a year ago don't seem to be picking up. I wonder if it has anything to do with this being a 2015 directory. That could be it. Oh shit, here's a guy named Billy Joe. Probably married to Bobby Sue. <laughs> Sue, what a frame Gary. Is this Billy Joe? Uh, yes, it is. Hey there, uh, this is Gary from the city. The city? Yep, the city here in Roscoe. Oh, okay. And uh, look, we just need you to clean up your yard. It's a mess. It looks like shit. You think you can just <laughs> clean that up? Okay. Just need you to do that immediately, okay? Okay. All right, then. As long as we have an understanding. What you watching? I've got the uh, 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 SEC softball tournament on. Do you think you could turn it down? We can hear it all the way over here. Like, I'm serious. You need to, uh, Billy Joe J, hello? Yeah, that sucked because I like I was gonna do the true green thing, and then I noticed on the list that he doesn't have an address. He has a PO box. I'm like, oh shit, what am I supposed to do? I can't think that fast. What the hell? So that was my fault. Sorry. Damn, Billy Joe J. Next, we're gonna call Billy Joe Jim Bob. Please leave a message after the tone. So that person's last name was Jeff Coat. Like, who the hell has a last name like Jeff Coat? The weirdest names in this list. I think we may have to uh, take a break, find another list. Cause you have reached Charlotte with John. So yeah, fuck this directory. Let's um, let's play a song. And then, uh, you know, I'm going to just find a new directory. This one sucks. Nobody's picking up. I'll be right back. Sorry. I think I found a directory here, though. Uh, it's a very small directory. It's a very small type. I can barely read it. It's going to be a real challenge. Uh, these are business people, business type people. Oh wait, no, it's a soccer club directory. <laughs> uh, this is another one from Jasper Flax. It looks like I've called some of these already. Probably like, you know, a year ago or something. But uh, they have home addresses. Uh, they, they, again, these are like supposed to be Royco roofing stuff. Um, but it's Saturday. We're not going to be working. I'm just going to call 7-Elevens. Just do customer surveys all morning. Because this isn't working out. People aren't picking up. Maybe I will finish this list. This is a small list. And after that, we'll just move on to businesses or something. Uh, I could do um, the, the last of the Christian store calls. Uh, I still want to do that thing. And I don't have much longer because they're about to all go out of business. Probably most of them have. But I, oh, hello? <laughs> You answered. Yes. Oh, hey, John. Uh, th this is Kevin. I'm with True Green. 
Uh-huh. And um, we accidentally, uh, we did your lawn earlier today. We sprayed your lawn with chemicals, and uh, we, we, were spo- um, we were supposed to do a guy down the street. We accidentally did your lawn because we got some numbers wrong on the address. Okay. It was my uh, co-worker's fault. His name's Chad, and just wanted to apologize for that. Yeah, that's really not cool because we don't do that to our lawn and really don't believe in that stuff. So. Oh, well, well, maybe you should because uh, I noticed while I was spraying it, your lawn looked kind of shitty. Maybe that's why it looks shitty, because you don't put chemicals on it. Thank so, you. So you're welcome. You're welcome for that. Damn it. Let me try him back. You have reached 7 Oh, uh, He's busy uh, star 5 7 me or star 3 2 and me. I don't know. Doing something. One guy picks it up. I fu- Hello? Hey, we got disconnected somehow. Um, if you ever are interested in getting your lawn sprayed regularly, yeah, though, not when you use words like "it looks a little shitty." You know, that's totally unprofessional. Uh, what are you a little kid or something? You can't handle a curse word? Aren't you a grown man? I can, but not from a professional business. So, um, oh my god, you, um, you're you're such sure, a you're I've got such your a number in your such a pussy. Having a chat. You're you're having my number tapped. What? Oh, that reminds me. Uh, don't let me forget. We have a final boss. She's probably not going to pick up. I just picked the uh, the first number off of the... Oh, wait, no. No, wait a minute. No, I have no idea what this final boss is now uh, Now that I think about it. <laughs> it's just a made-up number. So, we have to try and call that back. They might be getting calls. Yeah, you can't put a tap on my phone, because... The number you died. The FBI's would be in the way. You can't fit two taps on one line. Don't be stupid. Hello, this is Tracy. Hey, Tracy, this is Steve Dave from True Green. And um, I, I don't know if you're aware of this, but we accidentally sprayed your lawn uh, yesterday. Uh, we, we got the addresses wrong on the form. Oh. And, <laughs> yep. No, this is from Lawn Doctor? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you're, you're over there on F- Street, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. We accidentally, uh, we sprayed your entire lawn. With? And, um, well, it's uh, it's actually kind of a, it, it's the stuff that uh, kills the grass after a few days. Um, oh no! Are yeah, you these, kidding me? No, no. These people down the street—they're getting rid of their lawn so they can um, put in some asphalt and landscaping and stuff. Wow! So we did your entire lawn with grass killer. It's not doing anything yet, but well, yeah, um, I'm really yeah. sorry to hear that, and you probably are too. It takes a few days, and uh, it helps if it rains a little bit. You know, gets it in there, and but yeah, your grass is about to just all pretty much just fall out. It's going to t- turn yellow. So you are from Lawn Doctor. Turn into dust. Yep. Steve Dave uh, from Lawn okay. Doctor. Okay. Well, I'm looking now. It looks fine. But um, so what are, what are we going to do? Uh, well, for one thing, definitely don't walk on it barefoot because, okay. oh, man, that poison. It's it's uh, heavy duty stuff. It's industrial, okay. s- industrial strength. Well, what about our dogs? Same thing, right? Yeah. I wouldn't let the dogs out there. And do you have any trees? I can't remember if there were trees in your yard. Yeah, we have two fairly um, young trees oh, that thank God uh, they're have young. just been planted in the last, well, one was planted about, I don't know, two months ago, and the other one probably two years ago. Oh, that's good. That's good that they're young because, uh, yeah, they're going to they're gonna shrivel up too. Oh, boy. Yep. And yep. Um, so you're the, it says Chris Choi on the caller ID. Oh, this is just the cell phone of the owner. I'm just using the oh, t- company okay. cell phone. Okay. So, uh, yeah, and then also, like, you, you know your driveway? Yeah, it's a shared driveway? Yeah, yeah, the poison, it kind of gets under the, the concrete, and it starts eating up through the concrete from underneath. Uh-huh. Like, you know, it, it, it eats through everything. Like, you know your house? Yeah. Do you have a basement? Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But never mind. Just uh, for, this, forget um, I- are, you, are you kidding me, or what, what's going on here? No, I wouldn't kid about this. I'm I'm so sorry. I feel terrible about this whole thing. It's just uh, my coworker Chad. He got the the work order number, the house number wrong on the work order. Uh huh. We, we were supposed to do like five houses down. What um? What's the correct house number? Oh, I'm not telling you because uh, we're not allowed to give out customer information. Okay. But okay. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll have to eventually because you're going to have to talk to them about you know them replacing your lawn and stuff. What do you mean? It's not them. It's you, you, the company. Oh, no, I think it was their fault. I think they, they um, when they were reading Chad the number, I think they like mispronounced the number or something or transposed some digits. Right, but it's your company 
it's your company that um, did the spraying. Well, we're I'm just not a small. Deal with a homeowner who I don't know down the street. Oh, you probably know him. He's just five houses down. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you probably do. It's it's okay. He'll take care of it. It's just, um, yeah, and and we didn't get his lawn done either, so he's going to be upset because he was hoping to get uh, started on the landscaping. All right, let me stuff. um hold on. Let me get some information from you. Okay. Um, is your are your basement walls are they made out of bricks or wood? Uh, bricks. Oh boy. Uh, oh, it, uh, cinder block. Oh, cinder blocks. That's the worst because those are hollow inside. It eats right through those. This poison uh-huh. stuff. It's right through the basement. Oh. Basically, okay. the basement walls are gonna are gonna dissolve, and your house is just gonna fall down into the basement. The what? The cinder block walls are gonna basically just dissolve over the next few days, <laughs> and your house is gonna fall down straight into the basement. Um. Like imagine your living room and your basement merging, like all the stuff well, that's in uh, your basement. The, and all the uh, spraying was not next to the basement actually, because we have a front porch. Well, yeah, but we sprayed. Uh, we we took hoses and put them under the porch, like in the holes, the little ventilation holes. We we sprayed uh-huh. hoses all over the side of the house. You underneath. gotta be kidding me! No, I wouldn't kid like about something like this. No. Yeah. Okay. Um. What are you playing? What's that noise in the background? Are you gambling? Uh, yeah, it's another phone call. Hello? Hello? Yes, how are you? Hello? Oh, that's rude. That was her phone ringing. Okay. She just... Okay, great. Thank you for calling me back. We'll get him in next week in the morning. Thank you. Bye. How rude. Okay, tell me your name again, please. Oh, who was that on the other line? Who was it? Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, well, I was just curious. I mean... Um, yeah, it's just like a driver school. Um, oh, for what school? Like, who's it for? Like, is it your son? Is he driving? Is he learning to drive? It doesn't matter. Um, let's, let's finish up. Um, so what is your name again, please? Well, it seems like it mattered because, you know, you, you set my phone down without warning and just went over to talk to them. Okay. Please continue. That's because I was expecting a call from him and not from you. Well, that was rude. Okay. Well, tell me again. This is Lawn Doctor, and what is your name? Steve Dave. Steve Danes, D-A-N-E-S. Yeah. Hey, could you run out in your yard real quick uh, with shoes on and just kind of push? I just was out there, yeah. Can, can you just push on one of your trees a few times? And, no, and I'm see not going to do that. Why don't just, you come just, over and just, check it out? No, I don't feel like it. It's Saturday, but if like if it topples over? over I, I just, yeah, it, I, the, t- the trees are fine. The leaves are fine. They look fine, fine, but, but they're when being did the, when was the work alive done? from the inside out. When was the work done? Uh, yesterday. So Friday. Was that yesterday? Yeah. Oh, man. I thought it was like Tuesday. Friday, 5-12, the, the work was done. And your name is Steve Danes. And yep. who, the person who did the work, can you tell me the name of the person? Uh, that was Chad, mostly. Mostly uh-huh. Chad, because uh, I just stayed in the truck. Okay. Yep. And the um, it uh, was I the incorrect f- address. Finish joint. Yeah, well, it was just transposed numbers. It's actually five houses down. Mm-hmm. Like it was supposed so to be... So three... Well, you, you said you couldn't tell me. Yeah, um, quit trying to trick me, you identity okay. thief. Okay. Um, and... Look, 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 so I, what's th- our this, next step? I don't so know. I'll just th- wait this, and see. This all just seems pointless. Can you just put the man on the phone? Because th- this seems like it's going nowhere. I'm just... I'm just, the one just, who holds the contract with Lawn Doctor, not yeah, my husband. Yeah, but, but you're just yammering on, and it doesn't seem like anything is getting accomplished. Can you just put the man that's in what charge of you? What are we trying you? to accomplish, Steve? Well, can you put the man that's in charge of you on the phone? <laughs> no. It just seems like no. we'd, we'd get farther if we did that. What's well, he so do- what, is, what is your suggestion as the next step? Um, uh, are you really attached to the house? I own the house, if that's what you mean. Oh, have you ever thought, have you ever thought about just kind of moving? No. All right. No. Well, um, I don't know. Do you have any ideas? No, I don't. I, it sounds like uh, I just need to wait and see yep, what's yep. going to happen with our yard. Yeah, and the house. Don't forget the house. The, the whole house is just going to collapse into the basement. In fact, I it's, don't believe you. Why don't you believe that part? Because nobody would produce a lawn... Uh, defoliation that would also Ooh, big word. Uh, that would also hurt the foundation of the house. That's first of all, that would be against any kind of pesticide um, 
Oh, you, you're not even in the lawn care business. You don't know what you're talking about. Plus, you're a woman. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. But, uh, so I mean, what is the next step? This stuff has to eat through everything, though. It's for landscaping. What if they have rocks in their yard and we want to like get rid of the rocks? We, we just spray this stuff on it and the rocks dissolve. Uh, that doesn't sound... Um it doesn't sound necessary. You just move the rocks. Oh, what, what do you do? You think you know something about landscaping? You're not even a man. Maybe, like, maybe not. What do you but, do for uh, a living? What is the next step? What do you do for a living, ma'am? It, it's none of your business. Well, it, it seems like you're you're a lawn care professional. The way you're no, talking. No, I'm not. That's why I hired lawn doctor. And then what do you do? None of your business. Well, come on, just tell me. I just I just want to know. No, no. Just put the man no. on. This is so pointless. This is going nowhere. If you want to speak put, put, put your um, to my husband, on. you can, but it's my contract with Lawn Doctor. Oh, that's so cute. Does he, uh-huh. let, does he let you write the checks for them? Uh, no, I signed the contract and I write the checks. And they're not checks, actually. What are they? <sighs> Doesn't none of your business. Well, you brought it up. Um, well, you brought the checks up. So um, everything's looking fine out here, Steve. Uh, did you push on one of the trees? Are you wearing shoes? I am wearing shoes. I'm not going to go out and do are, that. Are they um, waterproof shoes? No. Shit. Uh, step lightly. No. I, listen, um, I don't... I just want to know what the next step with Lawn Doctor is. You're an employee of Lawn Doctor. Well, You're kindly informing me of this problem where you did the wrong house. It's not so like now it's, I want to know what Lawn Doctor's next step is. Well, I think you should go talk to your neighbor. I mean, um, I don't know where the neighbor is. You won't tell well, me. Just start knocking on doors. It's like I told you, no, it's five no, houses no. down. Just go five houses down. Okay, Hold maybe on. maybe six. Um, like, but does it really matter? I mean, your yard looked kind of shitty to begin with. Okay, well, we've had enough of this conversation. I will call Lawn Doctor You're on a Monday. Wee? And how do you spell your last name, sir? D A V E. D A V E. Yep, V V like vagina. Steve, Dave. Yep, Dave. Okay, and um, you said you're calling from someone else's cell phone. Yeah, well, it's the owner's cell phone. It's like the truck cell phone. I think it's a burner phone to be a, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, but the next what do you mean step, by a burner phone. Look, would you like to buy some of our uh, reverse uh, dissolving spray? No, like it dissolves the spray. So that the no, spray won't I, dissolve your trees in your house? No, you haven't brought that up before. That's interesting that you should bring it up now. Well, it's just a thought, because since you're being so difficult, maybe we could just do it that way. No. Like no I, thanks. I, I Listen, I'm, thanks for calling. I didn't think you'd I care. I appreciate it, and uh, please call me back if you have more information that will help um, resolve what your company needs to do. Well, we don't have to do anything. It's your neighbor that made the mistake. He, he's like a mumbler when Chad was it's taking not, it. You know, I don't contact my neighbor who I don't know where he is five houses down I contact the company if I see a problem with what you've done yeah but it's not our fault it's the neighbor's fault for being a mumbler he was a mumbler he was a mumbler on the phone okay listen I'm gonna just hang up this is going nowhere I think he was eating something while he was given the address thank you bye but ma'am wait don't hang up are you still there Rev wants me to sell her some hobo be gone (laughs) okay (sighs) all right she was exhausting That's probably how her husband feels, too. He's just like, don't bother me with your shit, okay? You're exhausting, lady. That's what he calls his wife, his lady. Brad, I think we need to call people named Roy and ask them who the good Roy is. Are you a good Roy? Okay. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. All right, I'll I'll keep that in mind. Call people named Roy. Ask him who the good Roy is. Hey, everyone, we're going to take a quick break in the middle of today's show and play some voicemails. I'm going to shake things up a little bit and play the voicemails in the middle of the show instead of on the end of the show. I just got to keep you guys on your toes, that's all. Hey Roy, it's A.A. Ron again. Look, tell Giad or Giad if you're listening, for the next call of mass confusion, Mm -hmm. you should call the restaurant or the the grocery store and claim that you're... Wait, I'm going to cancel this. What? Okay, there's another voicemail right after this one. Okay, just like you did in the uh, layaway prank call or any time you went to Walmart. He had to go pee in the middle of his voicemail, so he just uh, hung up, came back, and finished it up. It looks like it took him four minutes to pee. Call a customer and claim to be from that place, and then create an argument, confrontation, get them to come up to the store, and then have someone there 
and, yeah. uh, and record the reaction looking for that employee. You hear that, That'd Gia? Pretty funny. Thanks. That's what you need to do for the next episode, even though you've got the next, I don't know, 12 episodes recorded already. But you should write that down. I've tried to do something similar to that before. I tried to get everyone in a hotel pissed off and down at the front desk so that we could videotape all the chaos at the front desk. But it didn't work out that well at that particular hotel. We couldn't get that many people down at the front desk. What we should do is have Nikki D uh, record things over at Market Basket, because he's always having us prank everyone at Market Basket. Nikki D needs to start carrying around a video recorder and get some of our stuff recorded for Calls of Mass Confusion. And speaking of Calls of Mass Confusion, there's a new one out. Yesterday was Friday, and it's a brand new episode. There's more video of us bothering people inside of malls. If anyone wants to go listen, youtube.com slash Jesus in a Dump Truck. Hi, Brad. Just caught your good boy episode. But um, my cat heard it, and he'd like to have a word with you. So oh, shit. There you go. Crap. Did you catch all that? It uh, seemed pretty important. So yeah, hopefully yeah. Hopefully you can work on that for the next one. Totally heard every bit of that. That was the quietest cat I've ever heard. Thanks for that. Hey, Brad. It's Brad Dulce. I bless the rings down in Africa. Okay, thanks. Brad Carter, this is Redbeard at your local pet store. Hello. Uh, PetSmart, yeah. And I was just calling to tell you the test came back and your dog, Pixie, has chlamydia. So ah, shit. You're going to want to go get yourself checked out for sure. Damn it. And cease all sexual activity for at least a month while the antibiotics uh, do God their damn it, Pixie. Anyway. You told uh, me you were beyond clean. That, uh, my wife had a good idea. You should call somehow people with pets and pretend to be a minister of a pet church and tell them that they're, you know, ask if their pet has been saved or not and then, you know, explain to them the dangers of their pet going to hell if they're not saved. And, totally won't get hung up on Christians or whatever, you know, denomination you would call it. You, but the church would be, you know, the church of dog instead of God. Yeah. So. It's fucking funny. You know, I should do this, but with the uh, church directory, so that way it won't sound like telemarketing. I'd be like, this is Reverend So-and-so from your church, and it's time to save your pet. We can do it over the phone, because they're not real people. Anyways, do just... that next show, or I'm not going to pay you $5 a month anymore. Oh, shit. So long, fuck boy! Well, just for the threat, I'm not going to echo your voice. Take that. How do you like it? Hey, Steve. This is Dave. Hey. Uh, I'm just wondering why your videos only have a few thousand views. Uh, I know. Like, are you uh, retarded or, or in trouble? I mean, <laughs> is anybody hurting you? I guess uh, not. I don't know. Anyways, I, I live in the gorge, and, you know, next time you're up this way, you can stop by and maybe suck my dick if you want. Okay. I don't know. Thanks. I'll, I'll keep your Bye. number. Thanks for calling to make fun of my uh, view count on YouTube. No, I really don't have anything awesome to say today, but I do have a compliment, and hey, it's, hey. you're sounding good. That new mixing board there, that's working out. Once you once Thanks. you figure out all those presets, oh man, you're going to have fun with that thing. I you're hope so. sounding good. Thanks. And, uh, Thanks, hey, Corbin um, Guy. By chance, uh, anytime soon, we're going to have some Foursquare uh, check-ins or Yelp uh, check-ins or... <sighs> Hey, we haven't done anything like that. I know, uh -huh, I know. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, uh, nudge, nudge, wink, wink, you know what I mean, you know what I mean? Okay, Anyhow, Corbin guy. Hey, you have a good one. Take care. I should do a live show of nothing but check-in calls. Yelp check-ins, Foursquare check-ins. Those used to be fun. Those just don't seem to work out anymore. I need to, to work harder on those. Because we used to have a lot of fun with those, just calling up people that checked into places. I'm sure people are still checking into places, aren't they? Hey, RB, it is Mailer Damon. Long time no call. I am calling because I'm a little bit annoyed with all of the inconsistencies. Like, uh, come on, dude. Either, like, do your live streams on YouTube, do them on Facebook, do it on Mixler. Like, pick a fucking server. Why can't I just do it randomly? Come on. If you really want more Patreon members, you need to pick a service that's consistent and stick with it every single time. And I'm sure you're getting sick of being lectured, so here it is. Yeah, shut the fuck up. I kind of like broadcasting randomly on any service that I feel like broadcasting on at the time. I still need to do some Periscope and some Twitch and stuff. It's been a long time since I've touched those. But really, what's it matter? It's all announced on the Twitter, usually. So just click the link on Twitter. What does it matter if it's Facebook or YouTube or whatever? Next thing you know, you're going to tell me to start having a scheduled time for my show. Come on, who does that? Hey, Brad, this is Greg. 
Hello. Uh, how about making a survey May month where you, where you actually allow us callers to call you and and ask you one survey question. Okay. You know, basically. If one okay, prefer- so Greg's calling in. And his question is, why don't I allow you guys to call in and ask questions? One question per person. Wait a minute, that's what you just did. It's called the voicemail. You're doing it. Yay. And we could actually just call you and physically ask you that survey question. You're physically while you're live asking. on a show. Oh, come on. And, uh, I mean, if it turns creepy or crazy Actually, or you can whatever, do that, too. You hang up on them and just delete their phone number from whatever, you know? Yep. Yep. But Most think- of them are creepy. But yeah, there's the call-in line for the studio that apparently is broken right now. But if you catch a live show, sometimes you can call the studio line and sometimes I'll pick up. Usually I ignore it, but I try to pick it up when I'm able to. The number is 845-470-0336. Just call that during a show and hopefully I will have fixed it by then. I was just told recently that it's not working properly. Just, just shits and giggles, you know, man? You know? Yep. Hell, you can just prank them back, whatever, you know? They- Maybe your crowd, whatever. That's right. All right. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, survey May. I mean, even if it doesn't turn out to be what I think it is, Survey maybe May. It be this whole month is all dedicated to surveying people. All right. Bye. Does that mean I have to survey people in my prank calls? Because that's kind of what I want to do to the family Christian stores. I still haven't done that yet. I think I'm just going to not get around to doing that because they're all going out of business soon. And personally, I think the best way to ask a question, if you have a question, is just to ask it on the voicemail. I almost always answer the voicemail questions, so just call here, ask your questions. Try not to be too inappropriate, because I'm a Christian, you know. Hey, Brad. Hey. It's Chef Tony. Hey there. (coughs) And, um, I think I'm deciding to come back from my strike. I know I'm going to say that it was wrong to beg for that extra cent. Yep. And I'm perfectly happy working for 50 cents to make your crap macaroni and cheese. Oh, yeah, that. so, that's what we're talking I'm about. I'm okay. right now. I still have the key you gave me. Uh-huh. And uh, right now I'm making a salad. Because I still use keys in 2017. A, uh, official uh, Chef Tony DiGiorno. Just kidding, it's I do. Delivery. It's the DiGiorno pizza. It's in the oven right now, so uh, you better get down there right now. And, uh, All right, be right down. Thanks for the pizza. voicemail. All right, bye. Bye. Let's listen to just a few more, and then we have some more calls coming up. Hey, Brad. Oh, shit. It's Chris. Wow. Thanks. So, hey, I just went to a, uh, I tried to do your mission. I am in downtown Charlotte. Yep. Got a payphone. Put it in my quarter. No dial tone or anything. Oh, shit. Hey, guess what? What a bummer. Just my quarter. There's no refund. <laughs> just stole my quarter. Wow. Uh, I've taken a picture of it for documentation Terrible. purposes. Terrible. I'll be sending that to you probably or something like that. Send me an oh, invoice. All right. I'll see you, Brad. I, I try. I okay, try. That's what counts. All right. Bye. Crimson got his uh, quarter stolen from a payphone, just like it's the 1990s again. You know, back in the day, if a payphone stole your quarter, all you had to do is dial zero and tell the operator. The operator would write down your address and your name and everything, and she would send you a check for a quarter or 50 cents or whatever you lost. For a while, I was uh, getting them to send me international call checks. I would claim that I lost, you know, like eight dollars and stuff trying to call over to Australia. And they would do it. They would send me checks for eight bucks. And I used to do that to friends all the time. Like and just for the quarter, I would just, uh, you know, call up the operator and say, hey, I lost my quarter. And I'd give them the name and address of a friend so that they would get a quarter, a check for a quarter in the mail. It seemed funny at the time. I don't think that works anymore, though. I think now when you dial zero, you probably just get some automated system probably get an operator in india or something so yeah crimson i'm sorry you just lost that quarter probably if you want to go ahead and email me your address i'll uh, send you a quarter in the mail hi brad it's nico i'm Hello. just calling because i'm listening to the may 9th who's a good boy episode and um you were just talking to pippin and i paused at mid show so i don't even know maybe it's going to work out past us and we figure out what happened but um pippin um the phone just went dead. And I'm just thinking, you know how Pippin the Poodle, the pedophile, or the poodlephile <laughs> poodle. Um, and Pippin's uh, probably dead. I'm just thinking, you That's know all. there's asshole people out there that just hang up the phone? Do you think there's asshole dogs that would just do that too? Probably. Anyways, that's, all, that's my comment. Um, and I'm going to unpause the show and see if I'm an idiot for leaving this message now. Have a good day. You probably Bye. are. That'd be my guess. But yeah, fucking Pippin hanging up the phone on me. Hey, dude, it's CB Radio Lover here. Hey. I'm telling you, bud, you ought to go on that QRZ.com or 
Eham. You can get them ham radio operators' names and information on there. You should call them up and tell them that, uh, you know, they're going to take away some of their ham bands and give them to us CB radio operators. That's right. I guarantee they'd be real happy about that. <laughs> Yeehaw! Catch you later there, Steve Dave. You have a good day, bud. You too. Yeah, maybe you should uh, email me some of these ham radio operator things that you claim exist somewhere. That'd be fun to call them up and tell them they can't curse on the air anymore. They've been cursing too much over the ham radio. We're going to shut them down if they keep that up. So, hey, let's quit listening to voicemails and continue with the live show where we left off before. So here it is, the rest of the live show, sponsored by Rob Zombie Stark. Jeff Oliver speaking. Oh, hey, Jeff, this is Steve Dave from the True Green and uh, we we accidentally yeah. we we um I I just needed to call and let you know we accidentally sprayed your lawn. Uh, okay. Today, you know, we we thought uh, we we get the na- we were supposed to do the neighbor's lawn and the some numbers got transposed, and we sprayed your lawn instead. Uh, okay. So. Uh, and what address are you talking about? Uh, it's on the North Street. Okay. That All right. One. What did you spray it with? Uh it's kind of a, an it's an industrial strength. Um, a lawn and weed killer. Okay, so what? How's that? Hey, wait a minute. The weed, lawn and weed killer. Does it kill the lawn? Yeah, it it um it yeah it kind of it's for people that want to do landscaping. Have you ever thought about doing landscaping like with uh, maybe rocks and wait and wait, wait 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 time out time out. Are you telling me that all of our grass is going to die? Well, just the part that we sprayed. Well, what part is that? Uh, all of it. Oh, you just talk. Okay, you guys are going to replace the whole goddamn lawn now. Well, no, I don't think it's our fault because your neighbor, they gave the wrong address. They transposed a couple digits over the phone. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, That's yeah, not I am. my fault. I know it's the neighbor's fault. That's gotta, what I just said. No, I think it's your fault. You've got to confirm what the address is. Right. Well, we did confirm it. Knock but on I, the door and pick. Well, nobody was even home. Like, we knocked. You, you guys weren't home. What's your name? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. And Chad was writing it down over the phone, and I think the guy was mumbling because, like, it's supposed to be, you know, you're you're on your last four digits is, uh, you know, it's like oh six. It was supposed to be two six or something like that. I don't know. He, he was eating though on the phone. What is the neighbor that ordered this? Uh, Roy, I think his name was. Who? What's the last name and what's the address? Well, hey, uh, can you tell that lady to be quiet? Like, who is that? Like, did someone just jump in our line? Yeah, no, that's my wife talking, by the way. Oh, well, she just, I don't know. Was she on the extension phone? Yeah. She just kind of jumped in. That was weird. No, she's on a speaker phone. You're on in my car. It doesn't sound like I'm on speaker. Okay, it doesn't the, matter. Okay. What is the neighbor's phone number or contact and phone well, we number? Can't, we can't just hand out customer information. Excuse um, me. I'll give them you. I think. Huh? No. I think that you owe me. If my grass is all going to die because of some screw up between you and the neighbor, somebody's paying well, for it. It's not me. It's the neighbor. But you don't have to yell at me. And you know? how did you get my, I, I, sir? Yeah. I. You can understand. I'm not quite happy. How about that? Well, I. I mean, I don't care. It's. It's so not my think, lawn. If you think Just, I'm yelling, trust. Yeah. Trust me, I'm not yelling. <laughs> did you just shush your like wife? Know, wait, 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 did you just shush your wife? I would like wife? to know the name of the customer that I'm going to have to talk okay. to well, about I, this error that you think they made. I can give him your number. Did you just shush your wife there? Because, I mean, wow, that was brutal. Like, Excuse me. High five. Talk to me, would you? Well, I just thought it was weird that you shushed your wife like that. Like, who does that? Uh, excuse, excuse me. Do you snap your fingers at her, too? Excuse me. Okay, I'm sorry. That just threw threw me off. I, I just wasn't Excuse expecting me. to hear some man shush his wife like it's the fifties. Do not it's... change. Do not change. Did you just do, do not it again? Change the topic. He just okay. did it again. I just heard him do it again. But no, I can't give you the customer's information because um, you could be an identity thief, and we can't just hand out customer info like that. I can give. Wait a minute. How give, did you get my phone? How did you get my phone number? Uh, the neighbor gave it to me. The one that messed up on the form. So the neighbor gave me, gave you my phone number to mm-hmm. permit you to talk to me, which would suggest that I can talk to them. 
Yeah, I just figured. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe he should just call you or something so he can. And, and he, wait a minute. I I live at that address. Okay. Yeah. So why would I possibly be a a thief of identity, etc.? Come on, get real. Well, how would I I'd know? Like I don't, I don't know what you gentleman. do in your spare time. Just I... give me the last name. Okay. Give me the last name and and. And what you think their address is? Well, no, you need Do you to know pay, what their address is. You need to pay. Of course, I know what his address is because, like, he gave us the wrong one. I went over and talked to him and everything, but uh, he he wants compensation because his lawn wasn't sprayed. So I think he wants you to compensate him for his lawn not getting done. Okay. What is your num- phone number? Uh, it's on your caller ID. A- any phone that has seven zero three seven eight. That that isn't that company's phone number. What's wrong with that number? Uh, excuse me. Please give me your company's this, this number. Is a comp- this is a company cell phone. It's the one we keep in the truck. Give me the main office number. You're really demanding for someone that owes your neighbor a, a lawn care job. Oh, fuck you-, you. Hey, don't say fuck you to me. Why, why would you talk why to me? Why not? Because you're, tell- you're just being ridiculous here. I think you're a fraud. Okay. How would I be a fraud? But I, I do have your phone number, and I will name? track you down because my my uncle is the chairman of the the police department's chairman. So I will track you down, hey, and trust me, you're not going to be a happy character when he gets old. I noticed your wife hasn't talked in a while. Good job on shutting her up. You, you're a, a, a really yeah. really good at you the husband what? thing. Yeah. Okay. Fine. I'm, I'm just saying, good job. You, you really shut that are woman you up. Harassing? Are you done? Are you? This is a fun call for you, isn't it? Well, I, I, don't, I was just trying to make a business call, and you, t- you turn it into a, just a weird thing, and like trying to steal identities and stuff. Oh, yeah, just, uh, oh, 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 yeah, right. You know what? Oh, oh, You're she's just talking. Being funny. She, she just tried to talk again. You're so again. hilarious. Can, can it's, sh- it's amazing. Can you shush her real quick? Maybe for we should get together for. Maybe we should get together for a beer too. How about that? Uh, well, that sounds really awful because you sound like a terrible person that I wouldn't want to hang out with. You're the, you're the kind of man that would shush his wife. I, ma'am, I know. Ma'am, get that out of the relationship, perfect. ma'am. Just get out as soon as you can. Take the kids and run. Hang on. R- run away. You know what? I'm going to have the police track your phone number. Bye for, now. For what reason? <laughs> ah, Turdwinder fee. I should have said the Turdwinder fee. <laughs> User fan, are you hitting on me? I should have asked him that. He sounds like he wants to go on a date. Can you believe he shushed his wife? I, I'm pretty sure he did it twice, too. <laughs> Fucking shushed her. Who does that? That's like that guy who's... uh. Oh, what was he doing? Like, like we were arguing about something, and I told the the, I told him to be quiet. He's like, "I own the house. What do you think of me now? I own the house." While his wife's on the phone, making her feel all insignificant and stuff. That was the best. Really, though, what a dick. <laughs> Guy shushed his wife. I think I can just end the show, right? I mean, come on. The guy shushed his wife. The show's over. It doesn't get any better than a guy shushing his wife on the phone. Was that before or after I had I asked him to tell her to shut the fuck up? I can't remember. Oh, and he said the name of the person who's... Hello? Oh, hello, Anthony? No, no, it's the wrong number. Oh, hey, don't lie. I, I know Anthony's there. Put Anthony on. This is wrong number, man. Uh uh-uh. uh. I Anthony. I can hear him in the background. You you put Anthony on the phone right now. Do it. You do it. Do what you're told. All right. Anthony has a cell phone number also. So we're gonna try that one. Hello. This is Sam. I can't get your call right now. Leave a message. You know, on that last call I did, maybe I should have done Royco roofing on that one. Can you imagine that guy just freaking out because his roof's been taken off instead of the lawn? He probably would have turned the car around. He probably would have snapped his fingers and like made him made his wife turn the car around. Like chauffeur, take me back home. And be quiet. No talking on the way. The learner's new answering machine. 
leave a message on this thing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that because the music was kind of kind of up loud, but actually, you know what? We, we need to play that one again. That was great. It's busy because uh, the machine's rewinding or whatever. I'm gonna keep trying. Here we go. This is a home phone number. This is the learner's new answering machine. Leave a message when the thing goes deep. You know, Amazon, they're bringing home phones back to us. They're releasing that new uh, Echo thing with the screen. and We're going to have video phones in every room of the house now. Home phones are making a comeback. Thanks to Amazon Echo thingy. Alexa, whatever the fuck it's called. The number you dialed is not... Okay, um... That is all of uh, page one. And on page two, I just have a few... Uh, well, I don't know. I guess I could try all of these. There's not a whole lot of home phones, though, on, on page two. So maybe I should just end, end the show. Completely end the show. I think that's what I'll do. But I'm going to call a few numbers first. Yeah, but you don't need the video phone. Psychotic. You can just use your uh, existing dot or whatever it's called. The Echo Hockey Puck. I think that's what it's called. The Echo Hockey Puck. Buy the Echo Hockey Puck for 50 bucks. You can make calls. They're all going to be on speaker. It's going to suck. Hello? Hello, Anthony? Ma'am, you're saying it's the wrong number. There's no Anthony here. Okay, man. don't freak out at me. Jeez. Jeez, just ask I'm me. not freaking out. You keep calling. What? No, well, no, this is the first time I've called. I, I've never called before. You're, you're just like yelling at me. Jeez, come on. You don't have to yell. Is that the guy I just talked to? Because I, I didn't... That, like, I, he must be on the list twice or something. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, there he is. He's up there on the list. So I had already called him. That wasn't my fault. Can't blame me for that. So, like, the rest of these, it's uh, it's all work phones. And I just don't think I'm going to have a lot of luck with these. I think I'm just going to end the show. Uh, maybe, though, before we end the show... I should do one last call. I should, uh, you know, do a lunk alarm. Let's do a quick lunk alarm call. See how that goes. So let's do a lunk alarm and uh, then get out of here, I guess. Yeah, user fan, I need to do a, um, a pre-recorded... I need to start doing more pre-recorded shows because that's where I get a lot of the requests done. And my requests are pretty filled up right now. Oh, wait! Final boss. Let's call the final boss probably won't pick up but remember uh one of those people they said the name of a caller id they they um yeah yeah i think i think this is a real number like a person i don't know what to say to him really but this is the number i've been calling from your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice let's try one more time Meister Live wants me to say that Holden is a stupid head. So Holden, you're a stupid head. I guess. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I can't call that one. Hold on. All right. Here we go. We're going to call Planet Fitness. My Spotify. I don't know. On Spotify, I'm either RBCP or Brad BCP. I never can remember. Just search for those two things. If you uh, find one that has a uh, playlist called The Snowplow Show, then that's me. Maybe just search for a playlist called The Snowplow Show. And that'll lead you to me. Got some boots and boys in there. Everyone's favorite. David calling Planet Fitness. This is Terry. Hey, Terry. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Planet Fitness. Yes, sir. And uh, were you having problems still with that lunk alarm? Because uh, I noticed you haven't done a test there in a while. Is it still working when you flip the switch? Are we having problems with it? Yeah, I think the system hasn't been reset. Like, it, it's, it's lagging or something. It just needs to do a quick, hard reset. Give me one second. I can test it out for you. Okay. Nah, it's working. Yeah, but, it, like, it, we're showing, like, errors here on the computer. Um, they, they just want me uh -huh. to have you do a quick... Uh, uh, it's the, the way you test it is you just uh, turn it on and leave it on for exactly 60 seconds. And, okay. And that'll that'll kind of do the reset. Could you do that real quick while we're on the phone, and I'll just let you know when it's been sixty seconds, or, or when it's finished okay. doing doing the reset. All right. Are there a lot of people in there right now? Yeah, it's a, it's a very lot of people. Oh, okay. Th they'll be okay, I think.
Are are the people looking? Are are they glaring at you? Yeah, like everybody's there. Well, I mean, are they glaring at you? Are they looking like they want to come over and just hit you? <laughs> yeah. Like they are. They are. Yeah, like well, they looking, but like on a like why I got it on so long. On a scale of one to ten, what would you rate their ang- anger level at? About a eight right now. Nice. I got a, I got a member in my face right now. You got a what on your face? I got a member like right here. Oh, what are they do? Are they glare? Are they are they um, are they getting physical or anything? You yeah, can- I'm gonna cut it off. Yeah, I gotta you- cut it off. Oh well, no, no, it's it's not finished resetting yet. Uh, if you'd like, I could do a quick survey with that customer and and just let him know it's okay. If you, if you want to put him on the phone. I'm I'm literally doing the test right now. That was, I, I got it. I'm doing a survey right now. It, is it 60 seconds, sir? What's that no, it's only it's only been six seconds. Oh, it it's only been who? It's only been eight seconds now. Oh, shoot. oh, oh. <laughs> test has been aborted. Oh man, <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> he just hung up. I don't know if he figured it out all of a sudden but uh yeah that was the lunk alarm every planet fitness um in in the world i guess has a uh, a flashing strobe light or a spinning strobe light and a uh, an air raid siren mounted on the wall and they they actually set those off whenever someone's a little bit too lunky you know like they 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 grunt too hard they don't want people grunting while they're working out they want people to just be completely silent. No breathing when you work out. Otherwise, you get the lunk alarm. Or if you drink out of a milk jug. Oh, boy. <laughs> You're going to get the lunk alarm hey, for that. This is Ashley. How may I help you? Oh, hey, Ashley. This is Steve Dave from the corporate office with Planet Fitness. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was just calling. To, uh, did, did you guys get the, the lunk alarm reset yet? Because we're, we're showing there's still an error in the computer on it. Um, I'm not sure. Should I set it off and see if it works? Um, well, actually, we just, we need to do a um, a reset of the whole system, and to do that, you have to turn it on for about one minute and just let it run for one minute. Okay. So, like exactly um, sixty seconds, and and that should do it. If you could turn it on while I'm on the phone, I'll make sure it resets for you. Okay. Um. Yeah. Sure. Are there a lot of people that. in there right now? Yeah, there is. Should I like go warn them? No, no. It'll be funnier if we just surprise them with it. Uh, okay. It's, it's okay. I give you permission. Uh, thank you. All right. You want me to set it off now? Yes, please. Uh, 60 seconds. Okay. I'll let you know when it's up. Okay. I have to set it off for a minute to reset it. <laughs> so she thanked me <laughs> for doing this. Are, are the customers? Huh? Are the customers looking over yet? Are they? Are they looking? They, they are. Yeah. Are, are they? Are they glaring on, on a scale of? <laughs> um, like it's it's a ten. A, a, it's ten? a ten. Their their, <laughs> an, their anger level, or, or you mean they're looking? Yeah. Oh wow. They're like, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> if if they start walking toward the desk, um, like puff up your shoulders and and like st- take a couple steps toward them to l- show them who's boss. <laughs> yeah, they're all walking over here. Like, what is that? Yeah, yeah. If you just if they try to say anything, just tell them to shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right. Or you know what? If I'm you not want, gonna get fired for that, will I? Uh, yeah, you pro- you probably would, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so, I probably won't say that then. Yeah, you don't want that. Um, if you want to put one of them on the phone, though, I'll give them a piece of my mind. Okay. okay. Well, she decided she was gonna walk out, so it's okay. Oh, how long has it been? Oh, I forgot to even turn it on. Here, I'll start it now. You haven't even started it. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're gonna be so mad at me. Here it goes. Click. Six seconds. My other good one. Eight seconds. Corporate made us do it. Corporate made us do it. Uh, I I can talk to him if you want me to talk to him. He said he can talk to you about it. He said that the stupidest thing he's ever heard in his life. Oh, tell him to get, tell him to get the get, get the fuck out of the store. 
Okay. <laughs> After he said that was the stupidest thing ever, what did he do then? He rolled his eyes and turned around. Did he go back to the to his treadmill? He went back to the weight area. Hey, you know what we should do next? I should have you what? you go into the breaker box and shut off all the power so everyone falls off their treadmills. Is this a prank call? Are you prank calling me right now? Yes. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, I'm just some weirdo on the internet. No, you're not. No, I, I really am. just set it off for like three minutes. Can, Are you lying to me? Oh, yeah. No, I was kidding. I'm really with the corporate office. Can I ta- okay. Can I talk to a customer, please? Um, a customer? Yep. Is it for a survey, you know? Um, yeah, let me find one. Or, or you could just set the phone down on the counter and I could listen to that hilarious interaction thing going on in the background. <laughs> okay. Um, hang on. Let me, let me grab somebody. Do you really need someone or is this still a joke? Oh, no, no. This time it's real. Okay. Um, will you go find a member to, like, answer a survey? Just Anyone? yell after that person. Say, hey, get back here. The person that was just no, there. No, that guy's mean. He's going to, like, give oh. us zeros. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll lie and I'll say you got good ratings. Okay, okay. Um, can you just go get someone? T- tell her to get the, the most annoyed she looking. Get the anger guy. The guy who came up here and said the one corn was stupid. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna give him a piece of our mind. This is corporate. No, I know it was corporate. Who? What guy? You know the guy in the white shirt that came up here and he was like, "What is that sound?" And then you were like, "Oh, we're resetting it." Yeah, just, and he was like, "That's the stupidest just thing." Just tell that heard. tell that girl to shut the fuck up and go get him. <laughs> Are you sure this is not a prank call? No, I wouldn't prank. I'm with the corporate office. I'm a Christian. No, I'm gonna hang up. Why? I don't believe you now. What? Why? Why don't you? What changed okay, your mind? Bye. Have what, a great day. What, what part made you not believe me? <laughs> wow. Okay. I can't believe she was gonna do it. She was gonna go get the mean one. If I would have just played it a little more, uh, you know, non wacky, I'd be talking to the mean guy right now. But I fucked it up. I messed it all up. Sorry about that, everyone. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think I'm just done with all of this. So, uh, yeah, yeah, thanks for listening, everyone. Bye. I'm leaving. Show's over. Hi, Greg. Bye, Greg. Bye, user fan. Bye, Dom the Bomb. Bye, Jim Bob the Impaler and Tiger Eye 4 c and Psy Chaotic. And Rev, I guess. And Casper and... Uh, it's time for the XYZ show. Uh, as every Friday, Friday, uh, this is right around the time when the XYZ show starts, 10:20 a.m. So, get ready for that. That'll be on this station. Uh, by Banana God, by Justin, by D Lo Dog, by Doctor Punchy, by Thick ma- Maple Syrup, uh, uh, by Molecular Heckler. By Dragon Machine. I know we've heard this one, but I like it. Sorry, I'm playing it again. Bye, Benny Space Corps. 